Let's talk about Rooster Teeth. I will start off this video saying that um, I'm not surprised and uh, they had it coming. Let me explain. The basis of this thesis is that they played hard on both sides of the spectrum, like extreme sides of the spectrum, and they lost people because of it. They tried to change their content to appease as many people as they can, no matter who or what complained, while also having very toxic, not only the community being toxic, but the cast members themselves being toxic. And this is up front. This is not even behind the scenes I'm talking about. Here I will um, explain and tell you my stories of Rooster Teeth and why I fell out of Rooster Teeth in the 2020 area and to see what they become on and why they weren't viable as a company anymore. So I discovered Rooster Teeth uh, mid to late high school, so 2012, 2013, ish. Um, that's when I, like I truly was really watching them. So pre pretty early in like Let's Play days, um, in general, I used to watch their content, like all their content when it came out, at least a lot of it. Um, I watched Red vs. Blue when Ruby came out. I watched that I even made AMVs for the first three seasons like as they came out and to the point where I wanted to work for them they seemed like a great company to work for uh obviously for me it would be on the achievement hunter side I, I liked the crew I did let's plays of my uh myself making video game videos uh doing edits like video editing has been my passion uh or making content has been my passion and will always be my passion uh, even like personally, I've done events, I've done weddings, and online, as you see, like right now, I'm mostly focusing on streaming because that's what I have time for and that's what I can consistently do uh, while trying to give off content, and I think it works for me. Um, but I've always been like this. I've so when I tell you that I was connected to the community in some way, shape, or form, even if it was just you know, even if even if nobody in the community actually really knew me I was still watching and even to the point where like I wanted to be on the show even maybe be like a special guest or whatever it may be I I was very very invested in the Rooster Teeth zeitgeist in, in the community and when I look at clips from when I used to watch uh, which I've you know watched quite a few years again all the way up to 2020 I still, I still have nostalgia. I still remember the good times I had watching, and and I keep on thinking like these were the good times before everything went to shit. Like I miss these days. Like it, it, it's bittersweet, and that's not even talking about allegations on Ryan and all that. It's just talking about how I viewed the company now, and how I used to view the company back then. And this is not a situation of. They've always been one way, and I just saw the truth. They did change, and they changed a lot, and a lot of people were not okay with how much they changed. The first major change um, is trying to be a yes man to the community. No matter when, no matter how, no matter what, if there was a complaint, even if it's a very loud but... Uh, very small minority they will change their content they kept on dumbing down their content a little bit at a time as time went on because there would always be somebody out there offended and clearly this the company was left-leaning um, so you would tend to you know if you lean on one side uh, on the political spectrum which by the way Bi-political systems suck. I'm not part of either side. I don't claim to be whatever. But if you tend to say that you lean one side or the other, you tend to get extremists on that side. So even if you're like 
here's a spectrum, and you lean more this way, you're gonna get people who are this. And I feel like that happened a lot, and even though, in general, the dark humor or the offensive jokes are funny, there are some people who are gonna be offended by it, and there are some people who don't like to just let offensive comedy go and be like, okay, well, this is not for me, or okay, maybe I won't, I don't like this type of video from theirs, I'll watch something else. They will be so loud that they will demand change in how they people make their content. Which is why I more so respect people like Fitz, who still really make their content as raw as it always is, with some changes here and there for modern purposes, but not for appeasing people purposes. If their type of humor isn't for you, then too bad, it's not for you. You can't please everybody because then in turn you please nobody. And again, that's where Rooster Teeth fell. They tried pleasing everybody to the point where they pleased nobody. And now a lot of this is on the Achievement Hunter side or any of the any improv shows like any of the podcasts or the game shows like On The Spot, which used to be fantastic, they had to be very careful on how they started making content because they didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Where to the point where all comedy and all nuance was stripped away from any show that they gave off and as personalities left, they brought in people to be like Instead of being just real people making real entertainment, they brought in personalities that really didn't jive well with the company as as well as everybody who worked there prior. Obviously, you still, you still, like, I recently checked their account. They still have Gavin, Jeff, Jack, Barbara, Gus. They still got a few people. But a, a lot of who you know left and not and, and not just a couple people who left because of you know not great reasons but people who just generally didn't want to be with Rooster Teeth anymore for one reason or another and you could tell the tonal shift was happening and that their content was getting dumbed down and a lot of people didn't like that that it's it, it started getting dry it started getting less personality in it because they tried being too safe. I I enjoyed when they didn't care as much about people's feelings. Yes, you want to be a good person, but trying to avoid offensive jokes or dark humor because you might you might trigger somebody, but you don't have any other type of humor to really fall back on, where it's just like, ha, situational. Look at this thing that just happened can only carry you so far and clearly with this company shutting down that kind of comedy isn't going to work on top of the writing of their actual shows like red versus blue and ruby kind of going down the same route where less and less substance was being thrown into the shows and it felt formulaic it felt like it was a lack of passion and trying to be too safe and Rooster Teeth was is definitely a company and uh, that listened to the fans a little too much when it came to content creation, where their content started losing individuality. They started losing what we watched them for, these personalities, and just tried to satisfy anybody and everybody who commented on everything ever. <laughs> but that being said, um, if you are if you were one of the people who disagreed with the masses. Uh, either community or cast wise you would get castrated uh, by the entirety of the community and a large part of the staff just because you share a different opinion even if it's not a radical opinion it could be even creative differences and you will get dragged through the mud and this is the toxicity I'm talking about the community is not a good community I'm not saying everybody within the Rooster Teeth community are bad people, and not everybody in Rooster Teeth itself are bad. There's definitely people within Rooster Teeth that I respect more than others. But, they like to think they're good people when they, whenever you try to have a difference of opinion, and it's not even radical like, 
<laughs> the Nazis were right. Nothing psychotic like that. But just having a difference of opinion, even like no matter where it is, will get you attacked by the community and sometimes by the staff. You, um, a big thing that did happen with me around the time of me stop watching, uh, and some people might remember this, might know this, um, and I haven't ma really made a video about it. I tried making things good because I was still really liking the part of the community, even though I was falling out of it because of the softening of the content, was me having an opinion before, okay, before this happened, I had an opinion on uh, one of the reasons why uh, a show got canceled for a week, um, and I had an opinion, and it was a pretty tamed opinion. I'm like, I don't agree with it, but you do you, and people are like, like what the fuck do you mean you don't agree with them? Are you a dumb piece of shit? Like, whoa, hey, oh, hey, hey, oh, hey. Like, I, I, I can't, I, I can't disagree with the the reason why they st stopped for a week. Like, it's not like I wasn't even insulting anybody. I was just, just saying, like, hey, I don't dis I don't agree with why you did this, but whatever. Now, I know I am aggressive. I know, especially in comments, I am very aggressive. Um, and I get that. But there, but there are lines that I tend to draw. Now, I get angrier at some times than others. I really do. And definitely throughout the years, that is something I've worked on. I am not afraid to call somebody stupid for being stupid. I am not going to apologize for that. But I have gone about it in better ways. Uh, some angry, still some angrier than others. But I get it. But again, when I just display a simple opinion and I get castrated for it by, the, by both the staff and the community, it's not fantastic. But the big thing, the thing that went around uh, some parts of the community uh, and like forums that are connected to Achievement Hunter and Rooster Teeth was the Ryan situation. Now, I was not in the support of Ryan. That's not what we're talking about. Uh, if if he if things were true and he's convicted, uh, then that makes sense. Like being disassociating with him makes sense. It's hard to take away old content when he was most of it. So that also probably didn't help with the site because a lot of that, uh, a lot of those analytics and revenue is now gone. But that's not what I'm talking about. There was a situation, either Ryan tried streaming again at some point, something like that, and the community brought him up again. It, it died down and then he came up again and like, like randomly because he either tried streaming again or made a post or whatever and people started talking about it my opinion of the matter uh was why give him more attention if you don't want him to be having attention on him and i thought that was pretty sound it's like hey uh if you don't want eyes on him then stop talking about him like completely forget about him just just move on with your lives that was that was my opinion now, a, uh, a person uh, of the uh, Rooster Teeth, uh, uh, Ach Achievement Hunter uh, members, uh, named Alfredo, had a very huge problem with that. Uh, being like, well, you're not connected to the situation like we are. Uh, you can have your opinion, but fuck you, basically. Um, I'm paraphrasing, but that's basically what it is. I'm like, okay, well, I'll just display my opinion. This is how I think. And he's like, then he got aggressive because I, I said something back, and it became a huge thing, where it was basically pitchforks and torches, him telling people to uh, tell everybody to block me because I'm a piece of shit. He's seen my comments on videos before, and I'm just the worst person ever, and that was that was a complete fallout for me. Like that entire situation, it lasted a while, and I tried. De I I tried dealing with it. I tried doing what I can to remedy it, uh, but a lot of the cast are to like the cast was toxic. Not about that situation alone, but even some other situations at you know before and after, where I say anything uh, that is not 
100% agreeing with what is said. I get attacked by everybody and everything within the community. And it's it's like the Rooster Teeth community doesn't want more people within the community. That's why they started failing. They start pushing people out and they do not have an inviting community that will bring people in. They want to, on the, on the surface level, they want to say that they are like that. But when you delve deeper, all they do is push out people they don't like. Even if it's a slight difference of opinion, they will always they will cont continuously push people out, and they are very much not inviting. And I get there is a there is a like a sense of like you have to gatekeep a little bit. You have to ban certain people. You know, on my streams alone, when I when there's a paragraph of somebody trying to advertise their uh, their company or their stream without for without reading the rules of the chat and then just like first time chatter hey sorry to bother you but do you want to check out this website ban that makes sense or if somebody comes into your stream and starts yelling racial slurs because they're 14 years old and think that's funny ban like these things make sense but you can't claim yourself to be a welcoming community while simultaneously shunning anybody who has a slightly different opinion and the reason why their numbers are so low now because the only people who are sticking around are the people that they cater to with the extreme viewpoints that they have the people who are okay with the dumbed down content and will agree with everything and anything that people that are said now i agree that the community is also talk was also toxic towards new people like whenever they try bringing new people it tend to be a bad thing because the treatment hunter never the treatment hunter and rooster's teeth never knew how to bring new people on and it ruined the flow of their content and people didn't like that there is a tactical way of doing it and they did not know how to do it and there are some people who were really just not good for the content, but they were like, well, fuck you. I don't, we don't care if our numbers are dropping. We like this person. So you're going to have to deal with it. Which, sure, stand up for your employees. But also, that's not the best business move when you just tell your audience to go fuck themselves. But then, again, only cater to the people who are the who are ext extremists and you dump down your content. It was confusing. <laughs> now, as I think about it, it is, it was a very conflicting mindset that they had. They, they were super toxic to anybody who disagreed with them, but then they would try to make content that was comedically safe for everybody. And they lost, I, they lost their identity, and that's why they lost people. So, I don't feel bad for them going down. Um, I, feel, I feel for the memories I had, and I wish they didn't go down the route that they did. They could have been such a better company if they kept with the same mindset that they had when they first started. Um, making, just making stuff that they wanted to, and if people watched, people watched. If people didn't, people didn't. Also, the fact that they kept on making more ways to monetize without giving us actual reasons to monetize. And even to the point where, like, they are just making normal content into a paywall. And I'm sure a lot of people just did not care about that. Being, being a first subscriber and not getting benefits or getting benefits taken away from you because you're not making enough money to actually give off the benefits isn't isn't good they they got too big too quick and then they didn't know how to handle it and with a toxic community and toxic workplace they 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 fell hard and i still watch people that they've worked with like i enjoy mika burton like game grumps showed up on uh on the spot uh, which was awesome but Game Grumps haven't really fully lost their identity. Uh, and Mika Byrne is now a better person for, you know, leaving that 
community and that space. Rooster Teeth shot themselves in the foot. And that gun that they shot themselves in the foot happened to be a grenade. They did it to themselves. I am just one of many examples of dealing with the community and the backlash that you get from dealing with the cast and crew and dealing with the community itself. They were inconsistent, they are toxic, and they are... They claim to be inclusive when they are extremely exclusive. Also, fucking cow chop, really? Like, I, I, I don't even know how they were a thing. And then you, you kept them on? Gross. Cow chop sucked. Ew.